Hello, my name is Rick. I'm going to demonstrate uh, basic cleaning of two, kind of two copies of Tales to Astonish 96 with uh, Submariner Hulk and High Evolutionary. The the books are, you know, I'm going to say probably like three and a half, four maybe, maybe a little better. But in, well, largely I say that's not a five because of this, they have this sort of staining. One of them has some pretty severe staining in the corner here. And they have this really creamy colored paper on the inside. Look at this. So let's skip to the chase a little bit here and have a little before and after of these books. I'm calling them uh, A is the uglier one and B is the sort of nicer one. And the covers look, you know, I mean, this isn't a hugely different book before and after. It Dirt didn't come off. It's flatter. It's press better. I mean, it doesn't really come across into pictures well. It looks better, but eh, the covers are eh, about the same, a little better. Uh, so I'll show you the B and then the A. I think the really interesting part is doing two of the same book here is seeing how different they come out when I wet clean the back. Let's look at the B book first. It looks about the same, right? It looks, you know, you can tell along the spine that there is a little flatter cleaner. If you really look at the text, especially between the between everyone you know needs Christmas cards area, it looks wider there. I would say especially looks wider when you can see it next to black. The contrast makes it look even wider than it did, and so nice and even and looks pretty good, right? Around the sides, nothing big about it. But the the let's look at the other one now. The A book is not. I mean, that stain on the lower left hand corner is you know, less obvious, I would say, a little bit less obvious and flatter. But you're, and the text again, looks pretty white in between the text area. But now you're starting to see these areas where I, I wet cleaned, it didn't come even this first time around. You can see in the upper right here, there's like some, looks like some unevenness in the staining and in the lower right as well. And I've learned that this is sometimes because it just isn't cleaning evenly. So if I go back and clean this over and over again, and I probably will. I'll probably remove this cover and just wash the book all over. But it starts to look dirtier because that's, you know, and it, that original dirt has moved around a little bit, possibly under cleaning, or, you know, it's just cleaner around those edges. And it can look like that the first time. I'll have to do this, you know, several times and kind of buff those out and just clean, you know, just this area with a pad. Or I have to remove the cover and just wash it in a macu clean. And that means I soak it either in a bath or use a washing machine or get a squirt bottle and squirt it over there um, and it'll 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 come clean obviously I mean not obviously but it, it does um, but it takes a while that's that's the same book right printed they clean the same way and they end up being pretty different in their effects and it just depends on how dirty it is so I'll show you how I did it next hope you like the video so here are our little friends. I'm going to tilt this a little bit so you can see that there's like some sort of ribbed wrinkles in the cover here. And paper is pretty yellow on the back. You can check that out. That guy. And then we have another one here. And this is obviously the worst of the two. But I am going to now preheat the books in my press at uh, 165 degrees for just one or two minutes at a very low pressure, and then we'll get started. Okay, here's the first book. I get some cotton rounds. Just going to give it your basic clean. I'm going to away from the spine in this direction. And that get a little bit of dirt not a lot i expect the back will provide more fruit in the dirt department and i'm gonna this underneath it all right how are you doing comic book let's see how you are So that's coming up 
A little, not a lot. I'm coming up. When we are just gonna let this dry in the air for a little while while we do the next one. Look at this material that's coming up from there. You can see that it's sort of brown stuff's coming up. Sort of tan colored material. Yeah, so you can see that this is coming out of the book there. We'll see what it looks like later. All right, and here's his cousin. The other book, let's try this here. Just gonna get that off. See what we're getting off of here. And this one's a little dirtier. You can see I'm getting some material off of this book. Even though it's a nicer book, it's got more schmutz on it. Let's try this fella here. All right. This is what I got off the previous book. A little few minutes there, you kind of can see that. Uh, well, let's see what it looks like when we're all finished here. Now this, I mean, there's dirt coming off of it, but not a tremendous amount. Let me give it a little more here, and then. Um, well, actually, it's okay. It looks okay. Yeah, we'll just let it sit, and then we'll press them. So we clean these books, and this, the stack looks like this. We've got a chamfer board with the chamfer, of course, on the inside, and a silicone compression sheet. Oops, shiny side up. Like that. And, and we have one on the back going the other way, too. So we have two. And do these, these books look better? Not yet. I mean, they just got wet cleaned, but... They, are they cleaner? It's hard to say. But we preheated this, oh, this bottom plate, which is pretty warm, to uh, 165, which is uncomfortably warm. And I'm gonna do two at once, which is something I haven't shown before. So I'm gonna put this here down with a piece of paper underneath it, just because I don't want this little print from this Teflon sheet showing up here. This is gonna overlap with another piece that looks like this. This is this, this. I think this is like 80 pound paper. It's not very thick, medium thickness. And then I'm going to build the other one here. So this one has a chamfer board with the, you know, I should actually identify these chamfer a little better. Uh, here, up, and we have a silicone sheet here. This one was the worst of the two to start with. And we're gonna put this chamfer, or does not need a silicone sheet, has a special coating on it. We're doing some testing with it. Back, and so this one looks, you'll notice, does it look cleaner? Yeah, it's wrinkly. Is it that stain there? You can still kind of see it. Just a little bit of stain here. The danger sometimes with the wet cleaning is you have to go over it a few times because you can see that it cleaned here pretty well, but not as well there. It's hard to clean it very evenly unless you just absolutely drench it sometimes if the book is really, really dirty. So does it look better? Yeah, yeah, not perfect, but it looks better. And so what do you think, Nolan? Yeah, that's pretty good, that's, I think. It's not like bone white, but cleaner. I mean, we only did it one time. We might do this several times. And then I'm just gonna put that there and a couple of sheets of paper on the top. Uh, I don't usually use, I don't always use the paper. I'm just doing it here because I have some, I would use usually use silicone sheets if I had a ton of them. Aluminum sheet on top acts wow. as a heat sink and evens out the pressure. Two things we like it to do and evens out the heat too. The pressure isn't really usually that uneven, but it can be, especially if there's the, if you have the clamshell type of presses. Then we put this in here and tighten this up and on she goes. Get to 165. I'm just gonna take a walk. It's just it's not that warm. This top one, the bottom one is. And then we wait. What do you think, son? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just want to look better. I guess we'll see. We'll see. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah.
Okay. And so here are our books. When we're done, we can see that this kind of lower grade one here is looks, of course, flatter than it did. And the back is, you know, there are some spots here that it still didn't clean as well. Like it cleaned better over here than there. And, you know, you can see so this is still present. Honestly, you can still see um, it's showing up a lot more on the, the, the camera here than it is in my eye. But, you know, there are some areas where it's wider. It's not so white. Now, this could profit from removing this cover and cleaning it more thoroughly or just going over it a few more times. It would all it would all be, you know, sort of that color when we were done if we wanted to go through that effort. And then here's this other one. You can see. There, and then there's the back. It looks much more uniform, no surprise. It was cleaner to start with. And, uh, and that's it, it's those two.